Jane from Epoxy Designs UK. Uh, in this video I will be creating a black marble tray using one of our MDF shapes with some silver handles and I'm going to be trying out a new technique actually spraying on the white marble veins using a marble spray effect paint. So this one is from Montana um, and I can't wait to see what it's going to turn out like. So what I forgot to mention is that I also, I also got some Montana acetone um, spray cans. Now I want to try out to pop bubbles using acetone. So uh, that's going to be interesting. So first of all I'm using some black acrylic paint um, just to prime my MDF board. And you know if you if you uh, if you would like to create a white marble then you would paint it white and because I'm doing a black with uh, white veins I'm just preparing it in black don't forget to coat your sides with paint as well so when we actually spray on the marble veins they will uh, fall over the side so it will look like a piece of stone I'm using my heat gun just to help the paint to dry quicker because I'm really impatient <laughs> and just give it a second coat uh, because it needed a second coat you could still see the MDF underneath and because I'm going to be putting on clear coat of resin over the black I just want to have it primed properly and again just to speed up the process I am drying the paint with heat gun. Now this is the marble spray. I got the white um, white one, white marble sp spray. I think they do them in black and in silver as well. And I'm just spraying the marble veins using the Montana spray. Now they come out like strings, you can see. So I'm just trying to spray them in different directions. Not very successful at the beginning it does get a bit of getting used to and then you just need to go around the board just to uh, remove any strings which may be hanging over the sides i'm just adding a bit of the marble spray now that does look quite uh, like a lot on the video but once the coat of resin actually goes on top, it looks really nice and subtle. Now I'm just trying to paint with my heat gun, just to help the process speed up a little bit. Getting my handles ready, these are just cupboard handles. Uh, I will be using the longer version for uh, this tray. I think they are about 20 centimeters. I'm just going to mix up my resin very quickly so mixing it up for about three to five minutes uh, making sure that the hardener and the resin is mixed in thoroughly and I've also decided to add some more veins as you can see just in a different direction because the middle it was all to one side so I've just decided to add a few more and again, just running my fingers along, along the um, edge of the board just to catch any strings which may be hanging over the edges. Now this is the glitter I, I will be adding. I decided to add a tiny bit of very fine glitter into my resin so the marble will sparkle a little bit. You can't even see it. It's super fine <laughs> and I couldn't get it on the video properly but it's really beautiful this has got this nice subtle sparkle and once my resin is mixed I'm just applying it onto the board and you can see as soon as the resin goes on the crisp whiteness kind of disappears and it really looks like the Mar Marquina marble, I think it's called the Spanish marble. And I really, really love this effect. 
when me and my husband are actually thinking of uh, redoing our kitchen worktops and putting this on because we love it so much <laughs> including the glitter so I'm just spreading the resin with my spatula I shall invest it into some proper metal one you can go you can see that I'm not using my plastic one anymore but I still have it and just making sure you've got the coating nice and spread out everywhere making sure you don't get any thin spots and also making sure the edges are covered properly Just adding a bit more resin to those places where I think the resin is a little bit thin. Because if you put the resin on too thin, you may get uh, dimples in the uh, cured resin, you know, where the weak spots are. So you definitely don't want that. We want a nice smooth finish. I'm just using my fingers just to run uh, a bit of resin along the sides so you will get the, uh, the resin dripping over the sides so just smooth it out with your fingers just to coat the edges Now I'm going to trial out the acetone spray. So I've seen a lot of people online spraying the artwork um, with a spray. And after some research I found out it's actually acetone. So I bought some and I'm just spraying a light mist over the tray. And guys, it did work. All the bubbles started popping. So I think this is a really good way of getting rid of bubbles, especially if you are using silicone molds for your pieces because as you know um, you can't use much heat with silicone so next time I'm gonna be uh, doing some silicone trays or coasters I'll definitely use this spray and now I'm just setting some uh, handles into my tray making sure they're nice and straight and here it is so I really really love this effect using the marble spray it gives you kind of the look of a real stone um, in my opinion it's uh, much better than just using resin and creating those veins because with just resin it, it's kind of abstract and you know the lines blur a little bit no matter what you do I'm not too, not too sure if you can see the little sparkly bits in the tray. It's like a multicolor glitter we've used and it's really cool. And this is just the finished product. And as I said, I really, really like it. And we will probably do our kitchen in this style. So look out for that video, guys. Now, thanks a lot for watching again. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you guys soon.